So that's why I come into church already prepared beforehand. I get myself in the place where I can be totally focused on God. And truth be told, like I told um, Deirdre, I zone out. It's just me and my God. Because I'm not worried about people. I didn't pray the prayer and continue to pray the prayer for delivering me from people, their expectations and opinions. I don't care. I'm going after you, God, with all that is me. I'm not divided in my devotion. You understand what I'm saying? So it says the husband is the head. <clears throat> the word head in the Greek is kafal. And it means a cornerstone, a stone forming a part. And the cornerstone is a, is a stone forming a part of the corner. It is the head is some the one who's uniting two walls. <clears throat> what? That's Peter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's his name. Uniting two walls. You're a wall and he's a wall. And now he has to become the cornerstone to unite. Well, Jesus is the chief cornerstone, but in your house, you're called to be a cornerstone. And it is the basic element foundation. So then if you look at the being head and what Jesus is trying to tell you, you are the basic element foundation for your family, for your wife. And then it goes on. And <clears throat> it is so much in here, and I don't want to take all the day. But to just give you the key point, as you go, your family goes. So, regardless of what is hindering you from, <clears throat> from being the example, you ought to be that example. And you, you get the frustration from your wife because she needs you to be that cornerstone. She, she needs you to provide the basic element foundation for her to get in that word. And yet, if he cannot, honey, you have a Lord and Savior and a spirit in you, his spirit in you, that will teach you all things.